Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are looking into face emotion recognition system and this is based on a machine learning system using OpenCV and we are going to develop using a pre-trained weight file. So this is basically a second time, second implementation on the same channel and we did that a few weeks back in the past as well but I have seen many people leave a comment stating that they had running into issues giving out the right outputs the emotion recognition was not per, was not properly trained so i found this other method and i wanted to share with you and this seems to be very simple and straightforward and especially since we're going to be using a pre-trained weight file and it's going to make it very simple for us to run it so let's go into the collab file in the link in the description will give you the information to this particular link where you can open the collab version and before we go into the program let's go into the github profile for this gentleman and his name is atul balaji and his github handle is atula Alo, atulapra so yeah, this is this is where we are using the pre-trained weight files so he was kind enough to give us the weight file right here the model h model dot h5 file and we are using it from his repository so coming down here, we, the first step is to clone the repository. Clone. This is my version of the repository where I, uh, not only the model file, but it also has certain images and the hard cascade file that we need for this project. And these images are, of course, for you to test it out. And if you want to test your own images, of course, feel, feel free to just go ahead and upload. And in fact, this can also take care of videos. So wh whatever you have, you, know, you can just simply upload it up here and it'll Take care of it. So the first step is to develop the function that we need. Now we have we're using so some of the old, of course, OpenCV and NumPy Matplotlib libraries. Now I'll I'll go into the basics and I'll explain you what's happening here. So the first step is to create or just generate that model file that we will be using for in order to detect. So this is of course it's a pre-trained weight file, so we're not doing any kind of training like we did in the previous project. So we're just using straightforward and uh, this is a neural network which is a sequential neural network it's basically dividing that uh, it's, it's, it's a type of uh, convolution neural network and these are all the layers that are involved in that network so it's explaining the different types of layers that are involved and of course uh, once all the configuration is involved so it's, it's unless you're interested in machine learning which will take care of it in the next projects it's not too much of a complication uh, as long as you understand there's a simple pattern here so it's taking care of the input the input neural network and then there is a mid layer and then there's, there's a final output layer which then sums all the outputs from all the layers and give us the right prediction so it's it's not nothing too complicated but at the same time it's not very important at this stage but later on when we go dive into machine learning then we'll go into the depths of what what each of these layers are and it is an interesting topic of course now we are going to be using this function and this function is responsible for doing all the emotion recognition files and you can see it, it's there are a couple of things happening here the first step is to take care of the model file that we are interested in and this is the same model weights file which uh, we we already have it pre-trained and it's the dot h5 file and we're just loading the weights file and it gets stored into the model version uh, this is uh, i mean it's just to um, uh, avoid any kind of warnings but uh, if you want to ignore it you can ignore it doesn't matter now this is the dictionary now because uh, the model prediction it gives us outputs in number in, in basically in digits like it'll give you the output in 0 1 2 3 4 5 and in order for us to represent what 0 means what 1 means we we are developing this dictionary and this dictionary stands for zero is angry one is disgusted two is fearful so like that there are three there are six emotions all the way going to surprised so it's able capable of handling all these six emotions the first step is to detect your face now you can detect your face by doing by using the hard cascade and hard cascade is nothing but a simple face detection system it's a very old you know one of the oldest uh, the people who really pioneered the face detection aspect so this was developed on the hard casket and it's just doing the face recognition for us face detection for us once the face detect the face is detected then we send it out to the 
prediction. So uh, once everything is detected and once we identify where the faces are, and these faces are saved in this faces folder, and this x, y, w, h, this is nothing but the coordinates of that bounding box of your face. So if I go down, uh, you know what, I don't have this face. Let me open up one of these images. So this bounding box is nothing but the x, y, w, h. The x and y stands for this, this coordinate, and the w is this, and the height is this. So this is nothing but uh, describing the bonding box of your image. Once you have that, you send that particular image and, or just that particular bounding box to your model. And this model.predict is responsible for taking the image, detecting, and ex giving out the right prediction. So whatever it is, it could be, you know, it could be uh, the basic emotions that is being described, like the angry, disgusted, fearful. And then it uses that and using the max index, using the, the dictionary that we have, it will give you the output of what that emotion or what that prediction is. So if it's a zero, then if whatever it is. If it is a one, it is a disgusted image. If it's a two, it's a fearful image. So it's using that dictionary to give us that output and it just writes that emotion onto the text. If, if of course, if you want to write down what uh, on a command prompt, you can just use print. And instead of uh, printing the emotion directly, you use the the dictionary that we have, emotion dict, and you can use the max index, which is which will give us the index of the emotion. And as uh, once you have that, it will just print it out for you. So you can take care of this. We just simply play this. And coming down here, there are a bunch of images that we have already, and we can simply use this to test it out. So let's go in and play each of these images. The dict object is not callable, so it looks like there is an issue. And it's probably because we did not run this program. First, the first step is to run this application so that everything is ready. And then we can run into this application. But it looks like there is an error. And the reason for that error is, let me comment this for now. OK, let's come back. And this is something which always happens, if, especially if you're trying to create a tutorial. But you can see how it's passing out. Okay, so we have this. And the reason for that error was, since it was a dictionary, and I had to consider it as an array, instead of that, I was considering it as a function. So that was the mistake. And if I replay this, and if I come back and play this, it should give us an output and it's able to also print the emotion, which is happy on the command prompt. And coming down to the next image, this is going to be a sad image. And this is, of course, giving the right output. And then we have Elon Musk and he seems to be happy. Yes. And then we have Jason. Jason, oh no, this is a very funny one where this looks like a normal image. He has his normal emotions, but for some reason, the application is you know, detecting it as an angry and that goes by his persona for sure. Now coming down here, this one is a surprised image. Yes, and this last step, this last paragraph is responsible for doing videos, videos or even webcam images. Uh, of course, you can't run webcam images on a Colab file. You'll have to download it as a Python application. The only thing you would want to do is uh, this video of .mp4 is your source video, whatever video you want. So basically, if I come here and if I upload this video I, I have here, so I have this video .mp4, so simply upload it to your folder. Once you have it, you can just run this application and it'll run, it'll open the video file and then create an output.avi file right in the same folder for you. So it, it's basically running through emotion detection on the images. It'll read through all the images of your video and then give us the right output for us. Of course, you can use via the webcam. And for that purpose, instead of the video.mp4, just remove everything and just press put down zero. Zero defines the default webcam and it'll start reading. Instead of reading it from the video, it'll start reading it from the webcam. So that's as simple as that. I'll, re I'll change this back again so it doesn't confuse you. So with that, we come to the conclusion. I'll put this uh, into the description so it's easy for you to help. 
and let me know what are the different types of projects that you are interested in what are the different applications that you are excited about and what is it that you want me to work on and if this channel is helping if uh, these applications are helping yes do consider subscribing join the community we're just getting started we're going to pick up more challenging applications and see how we can make it more simple and easy to understand for all of us with that you guys take care stay safe bye bye